It's like a new day, it's like a new year, it's like a new life, baby, for me and you, yes it is. Mike Hamilton, I'm over at Lithia Toyota Redding, California. Normally I start out my videos featuring the vehicle, but I wanted to come out to this spot, kind of a spot that's uh, pretty big in this community here. Um, John F. Kennedy uh, came here in 1963 and dedicated this dam in Whiskey Town Lake uh, to the community um, in this region. And this happened on September 23rd, 1963. Um, that later on that night, he flew a helicopter, or well, they flew him up in a helicopter to a cabin up by Mount Lassen where he spent the night. Um, but this was just two months before uh, we were to lose him. So this is a, a really historic place in this community, and I'm sorry for the wind here. There used to be a lot of trees around here until a big fire came through here in 2018. Today I have a special vehicle, and I apologize for the wind. Today I have a 2021 Toyota Sienna XSC Hybrid. I'll be right back. And I'm back. I had to switch locations. It was just too windy over there at the John F. Kennedy Memorial. The lake's got white caps on it. We've had a snowstorm that came through here yesterday. Uh, still kind of busted up weather. But let's go over this new Sienna hybrid here. Again, with the uh, new TNGA platform, the Toyota New Global Architecture, we're going to have this uh, bold front grill here with this gigantic honeycomb grill. And then you get these aggressive lights, as I showed you in the uh, video before this. And then behind this Toyota logo is the uh, radar system for a smart stop. Uh, it sees uh, a vehicle that you're going to collide with up to speeds of 110 miles an hour. It's going to go into a brake mode and slow you down by 30 miles an hour. It also detects pedestrians and cyclists to 50 miles an hour and does the same. Coming up to the top here. We have a, another radar and camera system in the, in the windshield there. That one there uh, uses the uh, camera to see the lines on the road for lane departure with Sirius Assist and also has lane trace with the new Toyota Safety Sense upgraded. And then there's also another radar system for your adaptive uh, radar pacing cruise control. This XSC does come with a moonroof and a sunroof also. Some of these new models now, including this one, Toyota is really stepping up their rim game. Like the uh, rim on that new uh, uh, RAV4 Prime is a really attractive rim. And then we got these new matte black rims with kind of a um, carbon fiber print to them. I don't know if the camera could pick that up. And these are also 20-inch rims with Michelin tires on them. So you got a great tire here. Coming to the side here, we have wind vortex generators for hybrids. And they don't have to do that with some of the gas models. It keeps the uh, uh, scrubs off that bad wind and uh, diffuses the air. And then we have a proximity key. We got some chrome accents on here. Um, so if you were coming up to the door, you could just take the, let me show you the key first here. So we have our proximity key. So it never needs to come out of a purse or pocket. I put my finger on this notch, I'm gonna lock the vehicle. I just lock the vehicle. 
uh, want to unlock the vehicle, I just put my hand on the door and I just unlocked and pulls the door. That's that easy. Uh, new for Toyota here is a foot kick for the side doors. So let me give that a go. Well, maybe it's got a reset. There we go. And then the side doors open with a foot kick. It's also proximity key. Um, this one has the, uh, pass through here. So this is the, uh, it's like a seven passenger minivan here. If I want to close it, I could probably foot kick again, or I just pull on the handle and it's going to close. I'm going to go and demonstrate opening up this tailgate, power tailgate, power side doors with the proximity key here. Hold this for three seconds and that's going to open up our tailgate. We have our third row laying down here. So it will take two hands to over, put the seats up here into the uh, to use that back row. Uh, we have our uh, headrest down here. Uh, you fold those up, of course, and this is three passenger here. And then we have uh, two passengers in the middle and two passengers up, up front, of course. If I want to close this gate, it also has a foot kick. It's going to show you right there. Or you could use this button. So multiple ways. There's also one on the dash, too, or the key fob. And all kinds of ways to close this tailgate. There's your camera for your backup right there. And then we're getting that black badging for the Sienna. Looks really sharp. Toyota engineers and designers really tried hard to not make this look like another typical minivan. And you see these hard lines and, and edges on here to give this uh, some really nice designs in here. We have our fuel on this side here. Um, but that also helps with the aerodynamics and then we have our body side molding down below uh, to add to a more aggressive look to it Well coming in I'm going to go over the back seat first Because minivans are bought for back seats not for front seats. This is because uh, You need uh, more room for your extra passengers uh, So there's features here that I'm going to go over for the uh, rear passengers. We have our rear air controls up here First time that I've seen it now, we have, uh, of course, a U normal USB, but there's a USB-C here, and there's also one inside the uh, center console. The very back row is adequate. Uh, you wouldn't want somebody too small in that middle seat there, but an adult could fit back there. These have a lot of adjustability for the middle row to give plenty of knee room for even a larger adult to go in this back row. All right, coming into the uh, driver's door here. Toyota loves to do this. They love to give you cup holders. We have three in the door alone. Uh, you get this uh, soft touch materials and the red stitching. I love how they use the different types of materials and blend them in. Of course, we get our power windows, power locks, power mirrors, typical stuff you're going to find in every vehicle. Uh, coming down below, we have our... Uh, auto dimming high beams we have our fuel pump release and then we could turn the uh, power doors off if we want back inside here the ergonomics is just really good everything is that the driver is going to need is at a touch here of course this is a proximity key so it's power being a hybrid it's not going to start the engine unless necessary if the battery was too low but it's going to start just off of its a uh, electric battery only uh, let's go through the uh, driver's information center here. So we have a uh, set of a RPM. We have a charging meter that that green shows you to be in uh, in the green to stay in the best fuel mileage. And then you get into the power modes and you're going to get out of your best range. Of course, we have analog speedometer and then you got analog fuel gauge and temperature gauge or analog too. So let me get back over here to, let me start with the first one. Here's the eco here. So digital miles per hour if you want to see that miles to empty and then we have our uh, average fuel consumption which it really hasn't gotten yet because it really doesn't have many miles on it um, we got our our eco meter it's trying to keep you in the good zone to get the best fuel mileage back to that and then we have our lane departure and it also has our uh, our lane trace on this too which is new for Toyota for this year and, and a few of the models so basically holding the steering wheel it's going to down the highway is going to drive itself. I tried it at the mountain. It was just too windy. 
and it wouldn't want to stay in this lane all the way because the turns were too hard. But slight turns on the highways, so it's going to do that for you. We also have an adaptive or radar pacing cruise control on here. Uh, so that three bars is for three seconds of pacing. And we have two and a half and two seconds of pacing. And then let's go over to the next screen here. So we have our compass coordinates on here, back to the to the uh, lane departure. Our Sirius XM radio is on, but I have it turned all the way down at this point. So it's going to give you radio information, uh, your trip uh, for distance and trip. And then you have your hybrid battery and how much it's getting and where it's charging from. And then your PSI for your vehicles, for your tires. And and then we go over to the next screen. This gives you all your uh, Toyota Safety Sense features. So this has a uh, lane departure with steer assist, pre-collision, which I explained to you earlier. We have our blind spot monitoring system here. Let's see if I could get that for you. There you go. Um, parking sonar on this one here too. Rear cross traffic alert. So if you're backing out of a parking space blind, and you can't see the the sonar sees for you and it will alert you if somebody's walking or a car's driving and flashing your mirror and audibly beep inside uh, for you to alert you. We have a backup uh, a stop assist here. So it's going to go into a brake mode if it feels you're going to hit something in reverse. And then that RSA is for reading uh, speed limits and stop sign. Coming up to the infotainment screen. Really high, good, high definition. This is what's known as a three panel. So here's your radio information. Down below will be your phone information and half your integrated maps. If I want to use all the map, I just need to touch the screen. That's going to give me all the map here. So that's that simple. And then home screen goes back to where we were just at. Menu coming in here. Uh, it has all your apps information. This is project where the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto come from. We've got Looks like climate controls available through touchscreen, which is pretty cool. Our audio selection, I have it sourced to Sirius XM 53 right now, but we have AM, FM, Sirius XM, and anything you want to bring in through your phone is available to go through the system too. And it's a really nice system for this vehicle. Coming down below, I have we have dual climate, three climate controls. We have rear climate, uh, and you just need to push a button so they can use their climate. Then we have dual climate. I have it on sync right now. Your different uh, modes for face or feet or defrost and feet, all available. And then this is the one that forces the air just on the front passengers. We have uh, three stage heated seat. Here we have our auto dimming mirror, and then on here is our garage door memory sets are available and then we have our moon roof and sunroof here so that that's moon roof which and then we have of course our sunroof this is also where we have controls to open up our side doors and our rear hatch there are all available here so there's just so many places you got foot kicks you got key fobs you can just squeeze a handle, you can push a button on the dash, it's just everything is uh, available to open up. So if we have our reading lights here, um, then there's a special button here. This is known as the SOS button. That does a bunch of different things for this vehicle. Emergency services are always included in this without any trial subscription. So if the vehicle is in a collision where airbags deploy, they will be getting a hold of you and asking if you need assistance, know how fast you're going at the accident and know your GPS coordinates. If you're in an emergency, you could push that too, but it also gives you uh, roadside assistance, tech support for the vehicle, a stolen vehicle locator are all part of this. And then uh, at, there's an app for this vehicle too that you download to your phone that will enable you to start the vehicle, turn it on and off your climate control, roll up your windows and check your fill. Again, I'm Mike Hamilton, Lithia Toyota Redding, California. What an awesome vehicle this is for uh, people that need this for families, large families, people that need that extra space and more cargo room. Uh, matter of fact, it didn't even go up in price from the other uh, generation. So you're getting the hybrid systems and everything at about the same MSRP, about 42000 is where this vehicle is it's, as it is as equipped. 
And then you're getting all these ex extra features that weren't in the older models. Uh, I mean, these seats are plush and so much nice. The bolstering is so great on this. And then all the ergonomics and, and the way everything's laid out is so great. And then you're going to get 36 miles to the gallon. That's just incredible. I can't sell you a Corolla gas that gets that good of fuel mileage combined. So just an incredible vehicle. Um, I would say this is the best minivan out there at this point. The, nothing's going to touch this. You might find a little more plushness and luxury. But with the fuel mileage and everything else involved in this thing and everything you're getting, it's just an amazing vehicle. Thank you for watching my video. Have a great day.